All right, good morning. Hello, musicians, band directors, brass players, and friends. My name is Dr. Thomas Boo. I am the director of athletic bands and conductor of the Wind Symphony at Northern Illinois University. I'm a Yamaha tuba artist and the newest member of the Dennis Wick ambassador team. So really excited about my new Dennis Wick mouthpiece. Now that I've picked it out, I want to make sure I've got my tuning slides set correctly. So I'm going to utilize the Yamaha Harmony Director. Um, you could utilize this tool or, or really any tool that, that gives you a pitch that sets a drone because we want to tune against a drone. Tuners are great, but watching a needle is not nearly the same as matching pitch with your ears. So that's the goal this morning. Again, we're trying to tune in, trying to dial in the new mouthpiece, set my slides and be ready to go. So the Harmony Director is great because it'll do it in just intonation. Really appreciate that. Harmony Director also has some variable pitch. I can, I can pick a low octave, middle octave, high octave. Obviously, as a tuba guy, I'm going on the low end. Um, here we go. This is a C tuba, by the way. It's my Yamaha C tuba. So obviously, I'm going to set up a C drone, C, G, C. And I'm going to try and match that. So I'm going to start with just the octaves. change notes. Now we're going to check second valve. So in this case, B natural. Whoops. Harmony director is awesome, but you got to tell it what you want. So now I'm setting the length of my second valve slide. That seems crazy that first tune the open horn once you get that really really close the second valve is should be pretty close to in tune I mean if the mouthpiece is right and the embouchure is right and the air is right second valve might need the, some small adjustment but it doesn't need you know an inch pulled out on the tuning slide that just that tells me something's wrong or that the ears are a little bit you know off so band directors private lesson teachers, take a look at your student's second valve slide. If it's an inch out, that might be a warning sign. So as you might notice, I went through those a lot faster. Obviously, I've already done some tuning slide work, but just wanted to kind of demonstrate how you could use a drone, in this case, the Harmony Director, to match that up. <laughs> 
I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a uh, key of B flat. Uh, so again, B flat tuba, uh, key of B flat here, perfect fifths. Bring the volume back up. And you're going to see me make some tuning slide adjustments with my first valve slide. So we'll make sure we get that in the camera shot. Ooh, that's not it. Better. And again, I'm a big fan of bending down below the pitch and then coming back to it. It's easier to hear flat than sharp. So I'm intentionally low and then coming back to where I want it. All right, well that's just a short sample on how we can use a drone checking against the drone using the octaves uh, and some lip slurs to ensure the tuning slides are really, really close. The idea is to have the slides so close that we have fewer lip adjustments to make, or in this case, you know, tuning slide adjustments to make. It can never be perfect. Even the most amazing horn in the world, there's gonna be some glitchy things. You know, the fifth partial is gonna be flat. The sixth partial is gonna be sharp. Uh, the third partial, for that matter, is gonna be sharp. So. By the way, let's be careful when we're tuning to, for instance, Concert F on a B-flat horn. That's the third partial. It's a little bit sharp. So be mindful of your intonation tendencies. Be mindful of harmonic series tendencies. And most of all, listen and adjust. Thanks so much. See you next time.